Like this is about eight bars. That that's the that's the song. Again, against my <laughs> better instincts. One, two, three, girls. Critically, we weren't really loved in the beginning. We had a lot of naysayers that would say, "Ah, oh, well, you know, this isn't gonna make it. It's campy. It's cheesy. It's not gonna do well." Your secret safe with me, sweetheart. <laughs> Eventually, we pulled through. You got to stick it out and and uh, and weather the storm in any situation. Are you sure I have nothing to worry about? Well, you might lose your hair when you're older. <laughs> yeah. How about now, you yo-yo? You're too young to lose it now, dipstick. The first package they sold was 39 episodes, and that went to TBS. When those episodes went to TBS, and TBS aired them every day in the afternoon, it caught on, and all the kids coming home from school. Watch that show. Hey, it's sharp, it's snappy, it's bold. Slater, it's you. You know that, I like. Once the fans started screaming, this is great, then all of a sudden people were saying, oh, you know, we knew you could do it. We were with you all the way. No, you, no, you weren't. You were saying we were going to tank. We have big ideas, and big ideas make big money. The last time you had a big idea, I wound up with my tongue stuck to a moving airplane. <laughs> we knew that we had made it. When we came out for opening curtain calls, you know, to, to bow in front of the audience and say hi before the scene started, and the audience was roaring and screaming for each character. It was like they knew who we were before we showed up. Mark Wolgasa was the number one teen star in the world. He beat out Luke Perry from 90210. They would travel all over the country, and they filled up a mall. I mean, there was an unbelievable amount of uh, people that came out. People were showing up with I love you, Zach, and I love you, Screech shirts on in the audience, like holding up signs. It was, it was a big deal. And the kids were great. They loved those fans. They would never say no. Hi. I just got detention again. <laughs> you know, I'm the only kid on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> hey, but nothing can ruin my day because I'm Kelly's date for her birthday party Saturday night. <laughs> Storylines were very important to go you know, the writers would sit around. There was, what, eight, ten of them or whatever, plus a head writer. So somebody was always out writing, and they would come in with their first draft, and we'd off and running. What are you doing in Hawaii? Summer school. What else? We go to Hawaii, which was the best. The beach shows were fun. I, I just had a great time. The actors felt good about it, too, because it was a freedom. It was the most fun we've ever had shooting the Hawaii movie. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was like a family vacation with cameras. We didn't go to Hawaii. <laughs> we went down to Santa Monica and a little further down and you know, shot most of it. Oh, Zach, you can't do this to me. I promise these people a genuine Hawaiian experience. No problem. They'll get it. And we went over to Hawaii for three days and did exterior shots. So it would look like we were in Hawaii, but the, most of the movie was shot in LA. It was fun. It was all around fun. The last 13 weren't supposed to happen, which took us over the 100. And then they decided they wanted those. But Tiffany had already signed on with 90210. Do you guys ever wonder where we'll be a year from now? And Elizabeth was going off somewhere. So we actually shot the graduation before the last 11. It was very emotional, that graduation episode. It was just, it was just very, very emotional. I mean, these, these kids grew up on the show. I mean, this is our last night together Bayside. And Elizabeth was in real tears, but they were really leaving, and the show was continuing for 11 more. You'll always be my papa, you big pig. <laughs> it was a sad thing, and people were moving on, and I think it was quickly replaced with, okay, well, what comes next? So we brought another girl in. Let me explain something. I'm Zach Morris. Should I be impressed? Yeah, Leanna Creel, and she, she was a motorcycle-wearing jacket person, and she kind of took, uh, Tiffany's spot, you know, the sense of love interest. What brings you here? Knowing to bug at home? <laughs> it's just more fun bugging you. All kinds of people came through our show. It's unbelievable. Bridget Wilson had been a Miss Teen USA. And she came in for one scene and went, did so well they brought her back for six more. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? <laughs> Violet Ann Bickerstaff, okay. That was Tori Spelling uh, played that character so well. I mean, she was so good. She came in to read and she had pigtails on. I said, we don't need to look at anyone else. She said, what do you mean? I said, she's Violet Ann Bickerstaff. Well, my parents insist I have an extracurricular activity. <laughs> so the Glee Club is perfect for me. <laughs> I can hide in the group. <laughs> then you had Ruth Buzzy, who was an old hand at it. Oh, 
my little man is all grown up. She was a comedic genius. I mean, she was wonderful. Leah Remini was really fun to work with. I think she added a lot to the show. I think that was a good balance, because she was a tough girl, you know? She wasn't a pushover. See, I'm from the East Coast. Was that California humor, dude? She did all the bean shows. She was great. Mr. Belling, my name's Casey Kasem. Casey ended up in radio, but he wanted to be an actor. And then, you know, I'll say by the bell, you were acting with him. I could twist and sing. <laughs> Let go of the microphone. I listened to Peter one day say, what's the show about? And he goes, it's really something that's wrong, it's made right. The show that Elizabeth played in, the one that she was taking the caffeine pills to stay awake to do her tests, was an interesting uh, choice of, of show material. Pills? You mean you really are taking drugs? I need them. Jesse, give me those. I need them back. I have to sing. Now people make fun of it, as do I, because it was no dose. But it was a big deal. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Elizabeth did a great job with that, though. We took on issues. We took on drunk driving. The other night, we went to a party and we had a few beers. You risk throwing away the rest of your life for a couple of beers. We never had gangs or, or horrible things happen to anybody. But you know what? You get your heart broken in school. That can be pretty horrible. You are a very hard girl to get over, Kelly. But I'd rather have you as a friend than not have you at all. Oh, Zach. It was, I think, really mirroring what people were going through that were our target audience. Remember, Zach, it's better to be dumped by the best-looking girl than to have never been dumped at all. <laughs> it was first crush, first blush, first love, first heartbreak. There were episodes when you hurt your best friend's feelings, and you got to deal with that, because that's your best friend. I'm sorry about all the fighting, all right? Me too, friends. Friends. It's weird if you think about it, too, because we're learning all these good messages, and yet there's still some creepy ones in there. Like, what kind of guy has a cardboard life-size cutout that can lower down from his ceiling at the push of a button? Kelly Kapowski. This is the year that I make my move. That was kind of creepy, Zach. They lied. They scammed. They cheated. But at the end of the day, they always did the right thing. <clears throat> now, look, I used to move around a lot. I never had a place I could actually call home. Till I came to Bayside. Now, I have real friends. And I think that's what attracted a lot of people, especially mothers and fathers, when they allowed their, you know, child to watch the show. You know how many times people watch our episodes? Over and over and over, and they like it every time. I am very surprised it has lasted, and then I'm not, because it had such chemistry. It was lightning in a bottle. I believe that the show's secret is that in real schools, the cliques all don't hang out together. And, you know, Bayside itself was a school where everybody hung out with everybody else and everybody got along. It was like a dream school. It was a wonderful collage of people within this legacy of Saved by the Bell. It's been a great journey. I was employed for 11 years on Saturday morning TV because of success to Saved by the Bell and the job we all did and the fans. Without you fans, if you hadn't loved our show and cared about our show and brought it into your chest and said, this is our show, we wouldn't have been there. So thank you to all the fans. Guys!